Today's topic, what causes a man to end a relationship? Oh yeah. All right, let's start at the top. Let's make this super simple. In a relationship, he wants to have fun, just like you do. You want to have a blast, smiling ear to ear. He wants to be smiling ear to ear. He ends a relationship when he believes it will be more fun to be single or not with you. All right? It's not, you know, he realizes, like, you know, relationships aren't always going to be fun. He realizes, like, at times it's not going to be great. That's part of it. There's ups and downs. We all get that. But if over a sustained period, fun is less than what he imagines when he remembers being single, he will want to go back to that. Right? Now, the key here is how do you keep the fun going? And this is challenging. But first of all, you got to always date. So... The reason he fell for you, right, was while you were dating, you had a ton of fun. And that's why he committed to the relationship. Maybe you committed to marriage, or at least you got committed to an exclusive relationship, right? So always be dating. I don't care if you've been married for 50 years. You should be dating and having fun. Now, you're probably like, well, Mike, like, I get it. Like, that seems pretty low level. There's going to be fights. And I think fights is what causes relationships to end. And you are not wrong. You are freaking right. Relationships do end when fights happen. Now, fights can be fun. If fights are more about curiosity than being right and more about learning about each other, you're going to have fun. So in these fights, get curious and learn about your partner. Now... The fights that really stink. Now, we got to know about men. Let me explain men real quick. They want to solve problems, right? For the most part. So in order to make fights fun, make him solve a problem so he feels like he accomplished something. This is so vital. I don't care if the solving the problem is he just listens to you. If you coach him that he's going to listen to you, and then at the end go, oh, honey, you're right, that was great, and then you go, oh, you're the best man ever. Thank you for listening. Like, I feel better. That could be his solution. He's like, oh, shit, I just need to listen to her and be like, mm-hmm, you're right. And then you say, thank you, I feel better. Or maybe you finally, you get to, you, you built the formula out for how you're going to fight where it ultimately ends like, well, here's how we're going to handle this in the future. Or this is vitally important. The other alternative to these fights is what I like to call perpetual problems. Perpetual problems are problems that keep coming up in the relationship over and over and over again. These perpetual problems are unsolvable. Everyone has them. If 95% of your arguments are not perpetual, you're in good shape. If 5% or, you know, this comes up 5% of the time, that's expected. These perpetual problems, you need to figure out Is it a total 100% deal breaker? You cannot put up with this for the rest of your life? Or is this a perpetual problem that you are willing to accept? If you realize this is a perpetual problem because it keeps coming back and you're willing to accept it, stop fighting about it. Because you are going to make each other miserable. If you guys have come to the terms that this is a perpetual problem that you are never, ever, ever going to agree on, Stop discussing it. Or if you need to discuss it, both of you realize we're going to discuss it briefly, but ultimately we're not coming to a solution. We clearly are on these two sides of the fences, and we accept that. We don't have to be the same. We don't have to agree on everything. This is going to be one of those times where we're going to stay here. The folks that can accomplish this for their perpetual problems are going to be freaking happy, and they will then go back to having fun together, and not need to break up. Does that all make sense? Yes. Say, that makes sense, Mike. You're a genius down there because my love language is words of appreciation, and I'll appreciate it. All right, guys. That's going to hopefully solve some problems for you and uh, allow some relationships to 
stay juicy and stay together and stay amazing. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. What we're going to do now is I'm going to throw a video there and there so you can watch some more free content. And until next time, um, keep falling in love with yourselves, with your partner, with whoever you want to fall in love with. And that's what we're trying to do here. Bye-bye.